What's up guys, I'm Brandon. And I'm Sarah, and we're living in advance. We live full time in our self-converted Ram Pro Master with our two dogs. Come inside. All right, so over here we do have our dining room area. This is one of my favorite spots in the van, which you'll probably hear me say a lot. Um, this is where we obviously eat, drink, and play games connect a lot. This actually does also turn into like a couch. So this level, um, this table actually comes down um, and we have a pull out so that'll sit flush with the bench. And then we can just like lay more pillows or lay a blanket across so that allows for more room when we do have more guests. Below the kitchen table, we also have these two drawers that we put in. So these are our toiletry drawers. So this has all of our, you know, toothbrushes, everything we pretty much need to get ready. So in here we do have some extra blankets, um, all the dog toys, extra collars, their jackets, um, and whatever other things we need, like our little mini USB fan. So my favorite part about this is the versatility of it. Um, I love being able to put this down and be able to relax here, and especially when we do have such a beautiful view outside, I can get really cozy here without feeling I'm sitting like at a dining room table. So right next to the dining room table, we do have this little windowsill as well as the shelf above it. Um, I pretty much just use this for, again, my plants and some decoration so I can kind of express myself, which helps me to make it feel more like a home. So this is the wet bar in our van. Uh, we actually were originally gonna have a shower here, but we figured having more counter space was probably more ideal for us when we can just shower and then wash out the dogs, wash off the dogs in the back of the van. Um, so as you can see, we have a lovely countertop, has all my favorite things, <laughs> has the wine, the coffee mugs, our kettle and espresso maker. Below it, we do have our 12 volt DC, uh, GE DC fridge, uh, which is 5.6 cubic feet. It's a very, very large fridge, as you can see. Um, we're big foodies, we like to eat healthy. We drink all of the beverages, so this allowed for us to be able to do all of that. Above it, we have um, this cupboard or cabinet space, and this just stores all of our cups. Um, we'll store wine up here whenever we need to, but it's pretty much just cups and any bigger containers like our coffee um, maker and stuff. So it's actually funny how this kind of happened. We had this giant gap in our wall that we were like, okay, we're gonna turn this into a cubby. We're not sure what's gonna fit in here, or what's gonna happen with it, but we did it. And so we had this like giant cutout in our van for like literally till the very end of our build and we decided last minute that hey coffee mugs could fit in there so we decided that it actually fit perfectly so we decided to dress it up and add some coffee mugs into the gaping hole in our wall so inside of here is our hanging closet so as you can see here i'll turn on the light um, we have his dress shirts and my um, dress blouses uh, we also store a couple of our bags in here and then the fire extinguisher too we felt like this was the best access point for it um, and then of course I have just like my little accessories. So I have like my jewelry and my hat and bathing suits. For, we built this closet and then we realized it was actually a really great privacy door for our bedroom. So um, we can actually do this if one, if we needed to keep in here, if we just want a privacy, if we didn't feel like putting up the reflectix, uh, but it also allows for privacy for the bathroom if you need to. All right, so this is obviously our bedroom. Um, it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. But we do have some additions that we didn't have last time. We added in a lot of decor in our bedroom. Uh, we added the shelf, which holds all of our plants, um, a painting kissy that I did. We also have a mural on this wall that I painted because I did want a piece of me in the van. And since I'm very artistic and I like to paint, I felt like that was a very um, important you know, piece that was added to the van. Um, so I painted that mural and added a shelf, added a nice shelf with a plant um, to kind of bring it some more character. So this is Brandon's and this is mine. Um, and I will gladly show you guys, but we left them exactly because we weren't gonna pretend that we aren't messy, but we left them how they are. So his actually looks pretty okay. Um, and then here's mine and stuff might fall out. Yes, and so this is just real life because I'm always trying to get outside, so the last thing I want to do is sit here and fold clothes. 
I will, but I don't. Um, so I just shove them in there and uh, that's just how it goes. So um, another favorite piece of decor in the bedroom that we have is this macrame we got made um, from a dear friend. Um, we wanted something just like simple, but I don't know, like add some character because you know this if you live in a van you know this area can be a little bit of an eyesore with all the metal so we felt like this was the perfect thing to cover that up <laughs> So this is kind of how we got started with the van life situation. I was out backpacking in Jordan in the Middle East and I knew it was something on my radar at least. I kind of was interested in it and it made sense for traveling. So I wanted to do that and I was tired of paying rent. So I sent him this really old beat up. She sent me a 1984 like, Chevy van that was like rusted out. It was like, I want to live in this and I was like, obviously no, no. <laughs> and so he was like no and i was like man i'm just like really like interested in doing this and so when i got back you know i really thought about it and i was like you know what? our rent is about to be up so i'm gonna sit him down and i'm gonna i'm gonna pretty much pull up a powerpoint and like present this to him because i really wanted to do it and so i was kind of ready to fight so i sat down with him and was like babe our you know our rent's gonna be like we need to renew it either in like two months or we need to like make decisions now um like i want to live in a van and he was like Okay. <laughs> well, by that time, I'd already researched uh, more and discovered the Sprinter style vans where you can actually stand up. There are newer yeah. vans that you can get, so that that kind of helped. Thank goodness, because I literally was ready to fight, and he said okay, and I was like, that's it? Like, it's just <laughs> okay? Like, you're going to do it? And he goes, yeah, let's start looking for it. And I was like, yeah. okay. And so then we both started looking. Yeah, two we, months later, we uh, bought this guy. We bought this guy and we lived in it since day one. The moment we bought it. Yeah, we moved in. We moved in with nothing in it. We slept on the floor the first week. <laughs> and it was freezing, Yeah, but we in did it. In the winter, it. it was nice. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is our kitchen. Um, start with the sink. Uh, we decided to go with a larger sink than most. Um, we wouldn't have gone any smaller. And this nice little faucet, really cool because we can pull out, rinse everything, and then we also can swing it around to the outside and kind of you know rinse off our feet or the dogs or fill up any water tanks if need be. Um, and then we have this flip up kind of counter space. It's really nice, um, just gives us extra counter space and then we can kind of chop veggies and whatnot and have a nice view. Um, and all the cabinets here are custom made. Um, we built them specifically um, for our lifestyle and the way that the van is set up. Um, and this is just butcher block that we stained dark walnut. Uh, we got this from Home Depot, I believe. Um, and so this is a flip up for our stove oven range and it's on a piano hinge and it just flips up and that locks it in place. I stole this idea from Trent and Alley on uh, YouTube. They show that off quite well. But it's a 17 inch oven. Um, it, we bake cookies, brownies, uh, roast veggies. It's really nice. It's on propane. Um, we love it. We use it all the time. Um, and up here is our dry goods storage. Um, it's quite a bit of storage. Uh, we can fit pretty much anything. Um, and we have like our fresh um, eggs. We try to find those at a local farm. Um, they last longer, they don't have to be refrigerated. And then this cabinet here is all our, I guess, medicine cabinet. It has all our dog meds, um, vitamins, face stuff, essential oils, um, and then I made this little scissor rack up here and just put some hot glue up there so they stay on that little thing there. And these are all held up by gas struts. Uh, that's really nice so you don't have to hold it up while you grab something. Then move down here, we have storage underneath the sink. These are all on pullouts. This is where we keep our trash, cleaning supplies. Um, and then we also have like a smaller little tray here that we keep like sponges and also our switches under here for the under cabinet lights. 
Um, that's a nice night light sometimes. And then over here is the dog food. And we just feed the dogs here and dog treats. And this is fish oil for the dogs for their skin. And they're all in soft closed drawer slides. And then down here we have all of our pots and pans and all of our dishes. So this is everything we use and it even fits in a nice little baking sheet perfectly. I don't know how I did that. That was an accident, um, but it works great. And then uh, a lot of people have this toe kick like we do, and that's essential um, in building cabinets, but it's also wasted space. So I decided to build a drawer. So you have to fold this back. And it's just a little more storage that's, you know, doesn't waste that space. And then over here is our utensils and knife holder. Um, I built a custom knife holder because I didn't want the magnet because with the dogs living here, that's just a little unsafe in our eyes. Um, magnets usually are pretty strong, but just in the case of it. Um, that's on soft closed drawers as well. And here's our spice drawer. Uh, we kind of, I just built like a little partition in here just to keep everything separated. It's spices and coffee and tea and random other stuff. We try to keep it organized. And then one of my favorite things in the van <laughs> um, is our secret drawer. It's not so secret anymore because I like to show it off to people. Um, and it looks like a normal drawer, but I pull this out and it's a little secret, sort of secret, not so secret anymore. It just keeps our tops and everything now, but put it in there. No one will ever know it's a drawer. <laughs> and then down here, this is where we have our laundry. Um, and then we also have some more storage tucked back in here. It's like with our laundry detergent, uh, paper towels, and just ra random stuff that we just refill, I guess, in other places. And this is uh, an eye catcher in our van. Uh, it's a partition that we built. We originally didn't have this whole apparatus, but we needed something to separate the bed and the kitchen. And so I had to build this and I saw this design um, from a tiny home. It was up in a loft, like the wall area, and I kind of stole that design from them. A lot of ideas from a lot of different people, um, but I'm sure that's in every van and every tiny home. But uh, it was a lot of work trying to find these angles. So um, what I eventually did was just laid out uh, an actual size, drew it out, and then laid the board, found the angle there, and then just found the angle on the miter saw. And was able to put that together. It's one of my favorite areas and this shelf also, it just holds like our Bibles, our books, current books that we're reading. We don't like to keep a lot of books. We don't read a lot, but we also don't want to keep a lot of books that we're not reading. So we have a small bookcase for that reason and pillow spray and random stuff up there. So we get a lot of compliments when people first walk into the van of the ceiling. Um, we're pretty proud of that. It took a really long time to map it out. It's cedar that's stained uh, dark walnut and it's uh, quarter inch plywood uh, above it and that's just painted black just to give it some contrast um, and then we also installed this fantastic vent fan um, we went with the fantastic um, instead of max air because if you see our roof a lot of solar panel a lot of roof deck and we wanted to maximize the area up there and these are just a little smaller um, when it comes to the roof space so that's why we went with that and this space up here is what we like to call our attic um, we keep a lot of our um, shower towels and rain jackets, puffy jackets, uh, laptops, and our tripod. And I think duffel bags are up there. We need to travel anywhere. Um, that's all stuff back in there. It's a lot of storage. It's really nice to have. Um, and more of the cab area, we have these swivel seats that we installed. These are awesome. It just opens up the space a lot and allows us to have this one-on-one -on -one um, eye to eye contact when we're having dinner or conversing. So it's really nice. And so the entryway to the cab, um, the Pro Master is a squishy floor and we didn't like that and it's kind of slanted. So there's a YouTuber called Dog Cat Man Van and his dad fabricated one for him and I messaged him and his dad was able to fabricate uh, the same step for us and I installed that. It's really nice, really sturdy and helps uh, us get to and from the cab a lot easier. Honestly, the transition from house to van was like kind of exhilarating for me. Like, I didn't miss it. 
I I don't know. I I'm I'm a minimalist as is. Um, don't let my clothes fool you. I am, <laughs> and um, you know I backpack a lot, so I'm used to just having things on my back anyway. And so moving into a smaller space with like nothing was like it was just really exciting for me. I really yeah. I I don't know. I enjoyed it a lot. I love getting rid of things, so it felt really good. Yeah, it it was more so about the adventure ahead. Like building yeah. a home was was the exciting part for me. It didn't matter if it was, you know, tiny or not. I yeah. Was just, I was excited about it. Yeah, building a house. So we plan on living in a van until it stops making us happy or we're not enjoying it anymore. Or not even that, just like whenever we are ready for the next chapter. Yeah, unless we're ready for a change or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we're having fun. We don't see it happening anytime soon. Yeah, I don't see it ending anytime soon, so. Yeah. <clears throat> so what I do on the road is I own a pet portrait business. So I actually paint pet portraits um, and it's called your painted pup um, And so that's kind of what I do on the road. Yeah, and then uh, I built frames uh, for those portraits and I also uh, Travel around and help people install windows and fans in their conversion vans mm -hmm. um, And so that's how we make income All right, and so this is an art piece that Sarah and I did um, in the middle of COVID. It was like a rainy day. We were just really bored. And we actually had an old kitchen in here that was just made of two by fours and some plywood panel. And so we decided to paint it just to make it look prettier. And everybody told us to keep it um, for our kitchen. So we decided to tear it down and I framed it out and placed it on here just so we can you know, have that memory. It's a really cool piece and we get a lot of compliments on it. We love it. All right, and this is our garage. Uh, it's the reason why we went with a fixed bed because of the storage that allows us to have. And as you can see, we have a lot of stuff. Um, and we keep a lot of our gear, like swimming gear and you know random stuff in here. Uh, we have all our tools, um, vacuum just to keep everything clean. And right here is our propane box. It's a sealed box that holds our propane tank. Um, and then our electrical's way back in there. And we have our mountain bike helmets, uh, beach stuff, this is our beach chairs, beach towels, and everything in here. And our water tank, it's 40 gallon fresh water. It lasts us about, I would say, six days. And so I didn't want to buy like a water meter or anything to measure the water level. So I just cut a hole in this box just to kind of visualize how full or how empty the tank is. Here's our shower setup. We just pull that out and we actually close the doors in a little bit, put a shower curtain up, and this is how we shower. And here's our shoe rack. Uh, we just have a lot of shoes. Uh, we hike, we bike, we climb. Uh, we do a lot of things. That's why we need all the storage. And one of our other favorite things, we have so many favorite things in our van, uh, is our roof deck. And we don't have a ladder. So this is how we get up onto the roof. And usually climbs up and I usually will follow her but it's really great for stargazing and sunsets and sunrises and we spend a lot of time up there. Uh, for solar we have two 300 watt panels um, they're from Renogy and they pretty much charge everything we have a 350 amp hour battery and that thing never goes below 90 percent so it charges even when the, the sun's not out it's cloudy so. So you can find us at Living in Advance on Instagram, and you can also find us at livingadvance.com. And on that website, we have the Van Build blog where we go over everything we've built in the van, and we also have East Coast Van Life blog uh, talking about how to van life on the East Coast. And we also have all the links to everything we built in the van on there. So if you like anything or um, want that same thing, just go to our website, click the link, and it helps us, and we get a kickback as well. Thanks guys for checking out our home. Uh, follow us on Instagram if you're interested in our travel adventures and check out our blog. Yeah, now get out of our house.